Hello and welcome everybody to Off the Table Episode 4. Now you guys know this channel is built around poker chip reviews and I like to bring you other things that I like in life, that I enjoy. And today we're talking about a pair of Allen Edmonds Fifth Avenues. So this is pretty simple to describe. It's uh, slightly, you know, you can see this one broken right here on the cap. So it's a cap toe dress shoe with closed lacing, leather sole, and a 360 Goodyear welt. Okay. And these are, I, the color I believe is Merlot, and I paid under $300 for these on sale. These are not my most expensive pair of shoes, but I really like them. They're probably my favorite dress shoe. They're so versatile. This color does well with my navy suits, charcoal, gray, any number of things I can wear with this. I really like these shoes. So you can see also, you know, the leather lining in here. Very comfortable. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the structure here. And real quick, if you're watching this and you're a snob and you've already hammered out a comment, I'm better than you because I paid more for my shoes or I'm here for bespoke shoes. These are a pair of Allen Edmonds, okay? And it's a very American style and it's very off the shelf. Does that make sense? Ready to wear. And I love it when people, the snobbery sometimes in the dress shoe world of people like, if it's not bespoke, never buy it. If you're watching this and you're looking for a bespoke pair of shoes, this is not it. You're in the wrong place. Just to let you know, you can stop watching now. Now, if you are looking for a pair of ready to wear shoes, these are an interesting option. Uh, first, let's talk about some interesting structure here. For starters, for fit, I found that with Allen Edmund shoes, you can see the little crease right here. It's because it doesn't fit me perfectly with the closed toe system. And I don't want to get into the nitty gritty pedantic discussion about, well, what's a Balmoral and what's an Oxford? We're going to leave that for another day. Closed toe lacing, I found that these don't fit as well as the open lacing systems, often referred to as bluchers or derbies, darbies, however you want to say it. I might roll in a picture of my other pair and they fit me much better and I don't get this creasing. Is that crease a big deal? Not for me because that's down here on the arch of my foot, which is in between my feet, which a lot of people don't see. So I don't mind this. Other than that little bit of extra space, the shoe fits me pretty well. So I, I'll trade that for this beautiful look here with this six hole lacing system right here. So fit is something to consider. If your foot doesn't seem to fit these right, try an open lacing dress shoe. And people will argue, well, if it's open lace, it's not really a dress shoe. All right, well, we'll you know, again, we'll table that discussion for another day. So this is something that I like the look of. Now, something else, and this is now, I'm gonna talk about some style preferences now. And this is very subjective, okay? So you might disagree, I, I mean, hopefully somebody will disagree with me. But I like seeing some creasing and I like that. Instead of just like antiquing, you know, your shoes, we're gonna make it dark up here to make it look like they're older. The creasing also makes it look older. So for me, creasing comes with calfskin leather shoes, right? If you're in, people will roll, well, Cordovan shoes. We're not talking about Cordovan shoes. We're talking about these calfskin leather shoes. You're gonna get some natural creasing right here. And I think the way that these crease adds something to it. It adds character, one of a kind creasing through here. I already showed you <laughs> some of the creasing down here by the arch. It just screams, you know, character. Well, maybe why are you bending your toes so much? Cause I, you know, I have children. I squat down to pick up my children and that puts a lot of pressure on that toe. It's my shoes. I like these shoes and I like that creasing and people will say I'm crazy, but other people will try to polish these out and cover those up use heat guns to try to remove those creases, but not me. I like that. So that's just a style preference. As we move back in the heel, you can also see some creasing right here. To me, not a big deal. It's where they add this structure right here so that you have a more rigid heel. Uh, as we look at the heel, you can see it is stitched and it's beautiful. I haven't had any problems ever with Allen Edmonds stitching coming out. Not saying that you won't. It's just for me, I haven't had a problem. I'm pretty light on my feet so I don't put a lot of wear and tear on this. Um, another style preference. Oh, oh, by the way, I walked into a, what are they called? A boot barn, I think, where they sell Western boots, American boots, uh, country boots, work boots, whatever you want to call them. 
and they recognized the Allen Edmonds immediately. Not this pair, but another pair of Allen Edmonds I had, and they were like, oh, nice Allen Edmonds, like made in the USA, and they're like, yeah, baby. So something else that you see in a lot of American shoes is a Goodyear welt with like the leather upper and the leather soles. Even with cowboy boots, with Western boots, you'll see this a lot, okay? And so in the United States, they developed this Goodyear welt where they sew an extra layer of protection so it's upper welt sole instead of just attaching the sole to the upper so you can replace the sole more easily without worrying about relasting your upper, which I think they do anyway, but whatever. So the 360 welt, which Alan Edmonds uses, they sew the welt on all the way around, which gives it this very American look, right? I mean, you could be wearing, you just look at this portion of the shoe, how it flares out a little bit around here, all the way around the heel. It could be a Western boot, or it could be a pair of shoes like this with a cap toe on it. It's just very versatile and very, in my opinion, American, and I like that style. Other places will actually stop the welt here and just glue the heel on. And then if you need to resole, obviously you can remove that with the welt and then you can just cut the heel off and just reapply, you just glue on a new heel. Not a big deal. And if you like that more dainty look, like they do in Asia, maybe more of an Asian style, maybe in Europe as well, where they really shave down this heel and they don't welt, Goodyear welt it around, you might want to look you know, elsewhere. But for me, I really like that style. Again, I also like Western boots. So for me, I really like that American heel. And it's I'm surprised at how much the heel comes into play when we are discussing this with friends and things. Some people will say, I love this. And then they get in arguments with people who say, well, I, you know, and then the other thing about Alan Edmonds, and this is not something that you see. Alan Edmonds puts in a cork, is it called an insole? It's not the, they put in a cork layer above this leather and your foot really molds to it. Some people say that's good. Some people dislike it. I'm not seeing much comfort from that. Again, I'm very light on my feet. These dress shoes with a leather sole are never going to be as comfortable as a, like my, I have a pair of Air Jordans, okay? With EVA, Nike Air, it's never going to feel like my Jordans. When you have all that cushy EVA and air, this is not that, okay? Well, well there's air in cork, so you could, it's, trust me, it's just not going to feel as comfortable as a pair of Air Jordans. So take that for what it's worth and remember leather, leather requires some maintenance. Now I don't treat the soles of my shoes. I actually contacted Alan Edmonds and asked them, well, is, is it, would you recommend treating your soles? And they're like, we don't normally, if you live in a very wet place, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm not walking around constantly in the rain with this. And so I don't really qualify for this. They say, if you live in really wet areas, you might want to waterproof the soles. But they say generally, um, we don't recommend that because it improves breathability. And sometimes uh, applications of a, of a sole protector will make the sole hard and make it more rigid and a little less comfortable. So for me, I just don't treat my leather soles. It's a personal preference. It's whatever you want. So you can see here, pretty normal wear on this. I've had these for, how long have I had these? more than two years, I believe. And I don't wear them all the time. They might get out once a week, uh, less than once a week. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. I haven't replaced these soles yet. You can see the leather heel, the leather stacked heel with the rubber cap right here. And I don't feel the need to buy a tap or a, cap or a toe protector, so it's been pretty durable. Again, I'm not, I don't drag my toes and I don't drag my heel. So let me know your thoughts about Allen Edmonds. Uh, it's not for everybody. The other thing that we should discuss is price. I bought these on sale. If you find a good sale, you can wait for sales. They'll have sales where they mark things down 30, 40, 50% off. Wait for those if you're looking for a deal. Uh, if you really need a pair, I, I wouldn't hesitate. I feel like these are worth the retail, the Re recommended retail price is 425. Right now during the COVID outbreak in 2020, the stores are closed. So if you get into a store, I mean the service alone, 
you know, it's like, would you pay $25 for some great service and a fitting to see how they fit? Absolutely for me. So let me know your thoughts. For me, worth every penny of $425. If you can find them on sale, even better. And I know there are people out there with, you know, cost constraints as to what they can buy. There are lots of shoe brands available out there. Allen Edmonds is up there. When you're talking about the durability, the structure, the American look, this is a world-class shoe. I'm not saying, when I say that, people get confused. It's a world-class off-the-shelf shoe that might be a little bit more expensive or, you know, who knows, it's hard to compare with price is always fluctuating of other shoes that are comparable to this. So if you're trying to compare this to a bespoke shoe, this isn't a world-class bespoke shoe because it's not a bespoke shoe, folks. So let me know your thoughts. I could talk forever about shoes. You can probably imagine. But for what they are, these have met my needs and my style very well. I bought some other shoes that don't seem to be my style, but these, absolutely one of my favorites. If you like shoe reviews, let me know. It doesn't have to just be, I can get my Jordans out, I can review those or whatever people may have interest in. So let me know your thoughts. I hear a baby crying, so I'm gonna go take care of that. My name is John Hobby, thank you so much for watching.